tales for dark nights. Oh, how awful. How unspeakably awful. Operator. Operator, I've just been cut off. Well, Operator, I was supposed to be calling Murray Hill 40098, but it wasn't. Well, some wires must have got crossed and I was cut into a wrong number. And I... Well, I've just heard the most dreadful thing. Something about a, a murder and... Operator, you'll simply have to retrace that call at once. I know it was a wrong number and I had no business listening. But these two men, they were cold-blooded fiends. And they're going to murder somebody. Some poor innocent woman who was all alone. In a house near a bridge. And we've got to stop them. We've just got to. It doesn't matter what number I was calling. This was a wrong number and you dialed it for me. And we've got to find out what it was immediately. Oh, why are you so stupid? It doesn't matter what number I was calling. What time is it? No, I don't want the chief operator. I think it's perfectly shameful. Now look, it was obviously a case of some little slip of the finger. I told you to try Murray Hill 40098 for me. You dialed it, but your finger must have slipped, and I was connected with some other number, and I could hear them, but they couldn't hear me. Now, I simply fail to see why you couldn't make that same mistake again on purpose. Why couldn't you try to dial Murray Hill 40098 in the same careless way? All right, dial Murray Hill 40098, only carelessly. Please. Thank you. Oh, busy. I know Murray Hill 40098 is busy. Operator. Operator, you didn't try to get that wrong number at all. I asked you explicitly, and all you did was dial correctly. Can't you for once forget what number I'm calling and do something for me? Well, I want to trace that call. It's my civic duty, and it's your civic duty to trace that call and apprehend those dangerous killers. And if you won't... All right, get me the chief operator. Oh... Very well, please do. All this talk can't make anyone understand. It takes so much time to get anyone to... Oh, Chief Operator? I want to trace a call, a telephone call, immediately. I don't know where it came from or who was making it, but it's absolutely necessary that it be tracked down. Because it was about a murder that someone's planning. A terrible, cold-blooded murder of a poor, innocent woman. Tonight. At 11.15. Can you trace it down for me? Can, can you track down those men? It depends. Well, of course it's been disconnected. That was at least five minutes ago, and they didn't seem to be the type that would make a long call. My name is Mrs. Stevenson. Mrs. Elbert Stevenson. But listen, now my telephone number is Plaza 32093. But if you go on wasting all this time... Why do I want the call traced? Why? Oh, 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 no reason. I mean, I, I merely felt very strongly that something ought to be done about it. These men sounded like killers. They're dangerous. They're going to murder this woman 11.15 tonight, and, and I thought the police ought to know. No, I haven't reported it to the police. Well, no, not yet. Well, yes, but meanwhile... Oh, for heaven's sake, you mean to tell me I can't check this call as a private individual when there's going to be a murder? Without getting tied up in all this red tape? Well, why? It's perfectly idiotic. I I'll call the police. Oh. Ridiculous. Such nonsense. Police department. I can't see why you have to go through all this business. The police department. Get me the police department. Please. Oh, dear, do you have to dial? Can't you ring them direct? Oh, all this time wasted. Uh, is that police department? Oh, oh, this is Mrs. Stevenson. Mrs. Elbert Smythe Stevenson of 5353 North Sutton Place. I'm calling to report a murder. 
Well, I mean, the murder hasn't been committed yet, but I just overheard plans for it over the telephone, over a wrong number that the operator gave me. Yes, positively. It was a perfectly definite murder. I heard their plans distinctly. Two men were talking, and they were going to murder some woman at 11.15 tonight. Now, she lived in a house near a bridge. Are you concentrating on this? You sound sleepy. And there was a private patrolman on the street. He was going to go around for a beer on 2nd Avenue, and there was some third man, a client, who was paying to have this poor woman murdered. They were going to take her rings and her bracelets and use a knife. Well, well, it's unnerved me dreadfully, and I'm not well, and I'm very nervous. Oh, dear. My name is Mrs. Stevenson. Mrs. Albert Stevenson. My address is 53 North Sutton Place. That's near a bridge. The Queensboro Bridge. You know, and, and we have a private patrolman on our street. And 2nd Avenue is the next street. Oh, well, I was calling Murray Hill 40098. But that wasn't the number I overheard. I mean, Murray Hill 40098 is my husband's office. He's working late tonight and his line was busy and I was trying to reach him to ask him to come home. Well, I'm an invalid, you know, and it's the maid's night out, and I... You'll look into it? Well, the whole thing calls for a search, a complete and thorough search of the whole city. Now, I'm very near the bridge, and I'm not far from 2nd Avenue, and I know I'd feel a whole lot better if you sent around a radio car to this neighborhood at once. Oh, I don't know. Only the coincidence is so horrible. It, it sounds like this neighborhood. Well, 2nd Avenue, and the patrolman, and the bridge... I don't care how many other matters you have on your desk. This is not routine. It's murder, and it requires immediate attention. Oh, you... You... you idiot! Idiot. Idiot. Stupid, stupid! Oh, why doesn't Elbert come home? Why doesn't he? I'll dial the operator again. I just can't... Operator! Oh, for heaven's sake, will you ring that Murray Hill 40098 number again? I can't think what's keeping him so long. Well, try. Try, I don't see why he doesn't answer. It makes me so nervous. I, I can hear it. You don't have to tell me. I know it's busy. I could only get out of this bed for a little while if I could get a breath of fresh air or, or just lean out of the window and, and see the street. Hello? Hello, Albert? Hello? 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 What's the matter with this phone? Hello? 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 Um, oh, oh, for heaven's sake. Oh, oh, who is this? Hello? 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 What are they trying to do to me? Operator, I don't know what's the matter with this telephone, but it's positively driving me crazy. I've never seen such inefficient, miserable service. Now look. Now look, I'm an invalid, and I'm very nervous, and I'm not supposed to be annoyed much longer. Well, everything seems to be the trouble. I, I haven't had one bit of satisfaction out of one call I've made this evening. The whole world could be murdered for all you people care. And now my phone keeps ringing and ringing and ringing and ringing every five seconds or so, and, and when I pick it up, there's no one there. I don't want you to test my phone for me. I want you to put that call through, whatever it is. And why, may I ask? And meanwhile, I've got to sit here in my bed, suffering every time that phone rings, imagining everything. You're not trying to check the trouble for me. Oh, what's the use of talking to you? You're so stupid. But, but I know the dial system is automatic. Yep. Yeah. Oh, young woman, I don't know your name, but there are ways of finding out. And I'm going to report you to your superiors for the most unpardonable rudeness. Give me the business office at once. Dial it direct? I'll do no such thing. I don't even know the number. Oh, you... Oh, what's the use? Dear, oh, for heaven's sake... Hello? Hello? Stop ringing me, do you hear? Answer me, who is this? I don't realize you're driving me crazy. Who's calling me? What are you doing it for? Now stop it! Stop it! Stop it, I say! 
If you don't stop ringing me, I'm going to call the police, do you hear? Hello? Hello? Yes. Yes, this is Plaza 32098. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Huh? Oh. Oh, Western Union. Oh, 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 yes, yes, this is Mrs. Albert Stevenson. Will you read the telegram, please? Yes, yes, that's the address. Darling, terribly sorry. Tried to get you the last hour, but the line busy. Leaving for Boston 11 p.m. tonight on urgent business. Back tomorrow afternoon. Keep happy. Signed, Albert. Oh, no. No, no, I don't want a copy of the message. Good night. Oh, Albert. How could you? How could you? When you knew I was going to be alone. I can't be alone tonight. If I'm alone one more second, I'll go mad. I don't care what he says or what the expense is. I'm a sick woman. I'm entitled to a little consideration. Information? I want the telephone number of Henchley Hospital. No, I don't know the street address. It's a very small, private, and exclusive hospital where I had my appendix out two years ago. Henchley. H-E-N-C-H-L-Y. Now, please hurry and please... What is the time? Oh, for heaven's sake, I've no time to dial. What's the number of Henchley Hospital? Butterfield 39970. Is that Henchley Hospital? I want the nurse's registry. I said I want the nurse's registry at once. I want a trained nurse. I want to hire her immediately for the night. The nature of the cause is nerves. I'm very nervous. I need soothing and, and companionship. You see, my husband is away, and I'm... No, I'm not under a doctor's care at the moment. I was a patient in your hospital two years ago, and after all, I do expect to pay this person for attending me. Well, this is an emergency case and absolutely necessary. I'm a sick woman. I, I, I'm very upset. Very. I, I'm all alone in this house, and I'm an invalid, and, and tonight I overheard a telephone conversation that upset me dreadfully. A woman is going to be murdered when a train crosses a bridge. In fact, if someone doesn't come at once, I'm afraid I'll go out of my mind. Miss Phillips, and do you have to wait until Miss Phillips comes in? And, and when do you expect Miss Phillips in? She went out to supper at 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock? But it's not 11 yet. Where's my clock? Oh, oh my clock stopped. I, I thought it was running down. What, what time is it? 14 minutes past 11. Well, that clicked just now in my own telephone as though someone had lifted the receiver off the hook off the extension telephone downstairs, but I did hear it. There's someone in this house. There's someone downstairs in the kitchen and they're listening to me now. I won't pick it up. I won't let them hear me. I'll be quiet. And they'll think, but if I don't call someone now while they're still down there, there'll be no time. I've got to get to the operator. 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 I'm in desperate trouble. I don't dare speak louder. There's someone listening. Can you hear me now? You've got to hear me. Oh, please, please, you've got to help me. There's someone in this house. Someone is going to murder me. You've got to get in touch with me. Oh, there it is. Did you hear it? He's put it down. He's put down the extension phone. He's coming up the stairs. Give the police department. Give me the police. I can hear him. Hurry. Hurry! Hello, this is the police department, Precinct 270. Anybody there? Hello? Hello? Sorry. Wrong number. for dark nights.